and this is why. Okay? If you take a 4 by 8 sheet of insulation, rigid board, now remember that rigid, it's got your 4 by 8 sheet. Now it's going to shrink to the middle. That's 1% shrinkage again. So it's all pulling towards the middle. Okay, so if you have an eight foot board, eight foot, that equals 96 inches. Now 1% and the dimensional stability in the printed literature is one to 2%. 1% 2 of 96 inches is 0.96 inches. For all intents and purposes, that's one inch, okay? So what's happening? Well, in, now the 48 inch dimension right here, that's 48 inches. 1% uh, of that would be 0.48 inches or almost a half an inch. So what, what does that really mean? Is that shrinking to the center, you're gonna get gaps from unrestrained foam along all the edges as they pull to the center. So over time, that board's gonna shrink or cup in. Now, the industry can manage that by laminating uh, foil face on the top. They can mechanically attach it. Now let's, let's go with a couple of more sheets here because we want to stagger those joints, right? Stagger those joints. We got our panel right there. So to manage that, the first thing a manu uh, what the manufacturers are going to want you to do is they're going to want you to tape these seams. Tape those seams because, again, you don't want that pulling. You want to restrict that shrinkage. So let's use a little bit of tape. So we've got tape, everything still pulling to the center. Tape's holding it in surface tension. So again, pulling to the center. Now the other way to restrain it would be to mechanically attach it. Now, According to the board manufacturer's recommendations, what they're going to have you do is put mechanical fasteners every, fall in the studs, and your studs are going to be, let's see, etc. So mechanical fastener there, 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 in all. What they call for is anywhere from 21 to 28 fasteners to hold that board in place. And there's overlapping, of course, at the board joints and, and things like that, but pretty much you got 28 holes. 28 holes in the board. So that's also holding it in stasis, holding it from shrinking. Except, all right, so here's our typical method of restricting it. Foil face, tape along the edge, and now they're using mechanical fasteners, and then they would have uh, some kind of furring strip, whether it's metal, whether it's wood. And on the back side into the studs and sheathing, they do want to have this drainage plane now because they want that capillary break away from the surface so moisture can drain through and it aids in the effectiveness of the breathable membranes, the either liquid applied or sheet applied membranes, uh, according to the Air Bar Barrier Association of America. So here we have everything that we're doing, all the parts and pieces. And this is that four by eight sheet panel. Now, shrinking to the center and, well, 
a screw like this, as it shrinks to the center, okay, what happens is the screw remains rigid and that half inch now becomes a line or a bigger hole right in between there. So just to do the math. This is going to be a half inch gap all along this board line and this is going to be a one inch gap along that board line. So that is one by 48 and this is another 48 inches, a half inch by 48. So we have 96 square inches of open joints. And critically, these open joints occur at the weakest part of the envelope at the stud lines. So in the thermal envelope, you have insulation in between each one of those studs you have your sheathing material on top of it. Now you're putting continuous insulation to bridge over those studs to aid in the insulation of the envelope. But at critical joints where the envelope is the weakest, you have board joints starting to open up. Now, one of the methods that they have to remediate that is to be able to layer and stagger insulation on top of it. So they would have another board, insulation board, and we'll do that in green, um, where it would split the difference right here. So you get a stagger, you don't get a through wall penetration, but you still have half inch gaps in different areas. Just to give you an idea, that's 48 and 48. Let's be generous and say you have a hole in your wall on every 4 by 8 sheet of about, let's just make it, 36 square inches, a 36 square inch hole in your wall, dimensionally stable. Uh, with when they're restricted on here, they they only the surface stays flush, but it might cup right here, so it's not a true hole in the wall. It's just a gap in the thermal envelope. 